Hey guys, so Alex here again, and this video is going to be about configuring WordPress. So now you registered your domain, you hosted it on HostGator, and you installed WordPress using Fantastico. So now it's time to actually configure it, and you can finally like start uh, blogging. So what you want to do is whatever your domain is, um, so like let's say it's your domain.com, .org, .net, whatever, you add a slash and then you do wp-admin and it brings you to this type of screen. So then you just want to put your information and log in. So you'll usually see a recent comment here that you can delete and uh, some other settings that you want to do. So first you want to go to settings and permalinks and custom structure and you want to add this. So dash percent post name percent. So what this does is whatever your post or pages uh, title is, it's going to add it as the URL. So for this example, it would be alexandertrefier.com slash what I use as the title of my post, and that would be the URL. So this is helpful for SEO, and it's also way nicer than just having like random numbers like you can see here. So click Save Change. So a few other things is uh, go to Discussion and email me whenever anyone posts a comment or a comment is held for moderation, you want to uncheck that because as your blog gets popular, you're going to receive a lot of spam and that's really going to annoy you. Annoy you. So that's good. So if you go to reading, here you have the choice of either your blog showing your latest post or if you have a static page that you want to show. So if you have more of a normal website and not really a blog, this is where you could select a page to show. Then if you head to general, you'll see your site title, your tagline, you can change this. This was what you um, put when you installed WordPress using Fantastico and back in HostGator. So if you want to change your email or anything else that you configured back then, this is where you would do it. Now a few other things. So What's really cool about WordPress is that you can install a lot of plugins and plugins save you a lot of time. Uh, unlike a HTML site where you'd have to basically add the HTML, with WordPress you can simply just add plugins that will do the job for you. So I'll go to the plugins page and as you can see here right now WordPress comes with two. Hello Dolly is pretty useless. So I usually just delete it. Akismet on the other hand is helpful. It blocks uh, common spam. So I'll activate it right now and you'll want to sign up for an Akismet API key and eventually put this key here. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, you guys can figure it out without this video. Um, so a couple of plugins that you guys should use. So right now I have these four, five, six, seven, eight, eight plugins plus Akismet that's already um, installed that you guys should probably put on your blog. So contact form, Google sitemap generator, privacy policy, push press, SEO ultimate, stat press, WP insert, WP smush it. So what these do, um, contact form adds a contact form to your website which is needed for visitors to communicate with you and it's kind of needed from Google's search engine standards. Um, if you don't have a contact form they're kind of like finding your website shady. You need a sitemap generator that kind of helps Google um, find all the pages on your website. You need a privacy policy if you want to display advertisements, especially AdSense on your website. PushPress is a very simple plugin. You activate it and it basically helps your posts get indexed. So I always use it. SEO Ultimate, I'll um, explain it a bit more in detail soon what it does. Um, it's basically for a beginner you don't really need to play much with it. Uh, it basically just helps your SEO for your website um, but over time you might want to play with it and try some of the other features it has. Some of them are pretty cool and they're not uh, some things that you really have to like dwell on for like rankings or whatever but it can save you time or it's some cool features that you might want to check out. I also use StatPress. Um, when I install a website I just use StatPress first because it's really straightforward. There's no like activation key or whatever, unlike um, let's say Google Analytics that requires you to verify your website. And when I just starting, I'm starting a new website. I just want to use StatPress, and I'll later on switch to Google Analytics 
if um, I'm actually getting a decent number of visitors, like uh, 100 plus a day. But for the start, to start with, I just use StatPress because you install it, you activate it, and it's working. WP Insert is to add automatically your AdSense ads in your posts or pages. Um, if you don't want to do it manually, you can just add it to WP Insert and it's going to automatically add it in the same area for all your posts or pages. So you can kind of select a bit where the area is, but not as precise as if you would actually manually add the code in your page or post. And finally, WP Smush It is a plugin for compressing your images and it does this automatically as soon as you upload an image. So going back here, um, at first you might want to search these, but what I would also recommend is that you uh, you just upload them. For me, it's uh, if you download all of these in a .zip format from the WordPress plugin repository, you can just Google search the name of the plugin and you'll find it on WordPress. You can then download the .zip files and then upload them here. So I'll search for one as an example. So WP smush it. And here it is. So then I'll just press install now. Activate. I'll do another one. So let's say stat press. And it's pretty much like this. So I'll uh, pause the video and I'll add the others and um, I'll explain a bit more in detail some of the more complicated ones. Okay, so all the plugins are installed and I activated all of them. So most of these uh, work right off the box. You don't really have anything special to do. Uh, beside Akismet, where you should enter your key, contact form. So let's do the contact form right now. So what you want to do is go to all pages delete the sample page that comes at WordPress, add a new page, and um, actually I, you should just go to plugins first, go to contact form plugin, and here you want to copy this little code, this uh, contact form code, and uh, then you just go to page, I'll do add new, and you just put it here, and I'll call this contact us. There we go, that's published. Then when you go on the URL, you see the contact us page. Also, you probably want an about us page. So, well, by probably, I mean you need it to be uh, in accordance with Google's like kind of like good website rules. So you can just make a quick uh, about us. So this website is my blog. I blog about whatever. But uh, yeah, usually you can make it a bit more precise, but it's not really a website I'm going to use. Then just publish. Okay. So next one. So Google privacy policy, you don't really need to deal with it for now. Later on, you can just go here and it'll generate the page uh, whenever you're feeling like adding AdSense ads, which I don't recommend until you get visitors. Uh, the, the Sitemaps plugin is kind of done automatically. SEO Ultimate, I'll review that one last. StatPress, it, wor it works out right off the box as soon as you activate it, which is why I use it. So you can just go here, overview, and you can kind of see your information. And once you get a lot of visitors, if you want, you can uh, enable Google an Analytics. Then there's WP insert, so just to show how it works, you could basically, if you want your ads, um, left of post content, which is left or right, is usually where I put at least one ad, a uh, rectangle, that's where you would do it, and then you would do click to activate and save changes. Okay, so the final uh, plugin is uh, SEO Ultimate. So this one can do a lot of tools. As you guys can see here, it has a lot of modules. I don't really use that many of them, but I'll go over uh, some of the ones that I think most people would be interested in. So Code Inserter is cool. If um, you need for some things such as Google Analytics or whatever tracking software or any service that requires that you confirm your website and you need to put code in the head tag or wherever, this is where you can easily put it. 404 Monitor will give you um, 
an error log if people reach your website and they have errors so you can kind of track the URLs and you can know if you, there's some issue there next up is meta robotogs so here you can kind of change um, some stuff I wouldn't use these default values prevent indexing of uh, usually I don't like to get my category tags I don't use tags um, date based archives user login registration pages so yeah uh, the reason why I want to remove some of these is because um, I would rather that my post rank than like my archives or whatever and uh, sometimes Google can get a bit confused on which um, post or the category that contains their post should rank um, I mean it's rare Google does a really good job but why not help them you know so here if you want one of your particular posts to not be indexable you can do no index same for pages for example if you want your know about us and contact us to be not indexable that's your choice and that's it okay so then uh, you probably want to check miscellaneous so what it does is that um, I don't really care about these you can look more into it here if you want to add uh, like a share this button at the bottom you can do it right here if you need a verification assistant for enabling yourself for webmaster tools or Bing or whatever you can add the code here and the final feature I want to show is DeepLink Juggernaut so this can be pretty cool um, and it's the reason why I use SEO Ultimate over other similar plugins since it's kind of a useful tool and since it comes together it's awesome so anchor text so let's say I wanted my contact us page um, to be linked to automatically what would happen would be let me go to all pages let's see what the URL is so contact us so view I'll copy this I'll put it here so what happens here is that if I do save changes it adds it here and what will happen is anytime someone on the website like in a comment or whatever says contact us that contact us is going to become a hyperlink and it's going to link to this um, URL so this can be really useful for um, certain websites and in terms of kind of like navigation for your uh, visitors and it's also good for SEO since if your own web pages are linking to that page with a certain uh, anchor text it's a good sign for Google to be like oh this um, page is designed by the owner to rank for this keyword it's that's the subject of that page so that's helpful also to help Google and it's also helpful for your uh, visitors an easy very easy way to do it as you're writing a post is let's say you go to add new you can add it right here in incoming autolink anchor text so let's say this uh, post was about traveling traveling to Canada so let's say if someone says or in your post in other posts or whatever you say Canada travels if you add it here when you're publishing this um, post anytime it's written Canada travels it's going to link to this post automatically so that's a really cool feature about it and uh, that's about it if you guys want to explore some other stuff about WordPress feel free but this is pretty much like the must uh, have stuff that you guys should all know